it's top box time again. I'm just gonna open it and show you guys what's inside. Okay, first thing is a mascara. And it's Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Mascara. The website on this, jellypongpong.com. I've never heard of Jelly Pong Pong. Looks like it's a UK brand. It's 8 milliliters and my Maybelline is 9 milliliters, so this is a full-size mascara. The wand looks like this. I don't really know what makes it fairy lashes. Like, what does a fairy's lashes look like? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know if I should be excited about this or not, but I guess I'll try it out. Next, Madonna perfume. You guys know how I feel about perfume samples, but Madonna was my favorite singer when I was six years old, so maybe I like this. It's pretty big, though. Trying to turn over a new leaf and trying new things, so... Hmm. Well, I don't know if I like this or not. I'll try it. And if I don't like it, I'll give it to Holly, because she loves perfume. Ooh! An eyelash curler. Belvada Cosmetics. And it's one of these little guys. The weird looking ones. I've never tried one of these before. How do you work them? Oh, okay. So there's like a thing on the back. You flap that down and then you go like this to make it work. And then what's on the bottom here? Oh, and then it has like a replacement rubber thingy right here. So the rubber thing on it that cut, makes your eyelashes not crimp up is there and then they have a replacement one here. The one I'm using now is one of these ones from Sephora, which I do like, but this will be kind of neat to try out this new one. And the last thing is Benefit. Yes! Finally, a brand I recognize, Sugar Bomb Ultra Plush Lip Gloss by Benefit. Nice. I like that. Our shimmering pinky nude gloss is guilt-free gorgeous. This is the product, and it's a good size sample, and it looks like a color that I would like. Let me just take off what I have on and try this baby out. I squeezed too much out by accident. So it's a shimmery gloss. I put too much on. It's not very thick. It's not sticky at all. Balm Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. Hmm. Okay. Well, this month was a pretty good box. So the mini eyelash curler, full size is $5.99. The uh, lip gloss from Benefit is the full size is 15 mils and it's $19. And this one's 6.5 mils. So this is about half the size of a full size product. The mascara is. $24 for this, usually. A mascara specially formulated to make eyelashes flutter and flap. I'm pretty sure a mascara doesn't make your eyelashes flutter. You have to use your eye muscles to do that. But $24 is a good one, I guess. Earth or Dare by Madonna perfume. For a 50 mil size is $65. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with June's top box. I had a viewer request to do a review of last month's product, so I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so the Lee's Watch A lip gloss, I love it. I use it regularly. I pretty much have almost used it all up. It's really, really good. I do recommend it. If I didn't already have so many lip glosses, I would probably purchase it. The nail polish, Cusio Color Nail Polish. Honestly, I haven't tried it yet. My nails are starting to grow again, though which is good news, but I haven't gotten around to actually painting my nails or anything because I'm much too lazy for that. So I can't really give a good review on the nail polish. Sorry about that. And the Yabby Eye Shadow, I did use that a couple times. I would say the quality of this is comparable to my Smashbox and my Urban Decay eyeshadow, so it is really good. It's like a shimmery off-white color, so it's good for the brow bone and like the inner corner. Good stuff. I don't really use it that regularly because I already use the stuff in my palettes. It's just easier, but when I think of it, I do use this one, and I did use it today. So I do recommend that. And the other thing that was in my top box last month was this Yabby Lipstick. Eh, 
I don't really use it. It's kind of not very convenient to use a lip color that's in a little plastic thing like this. Maybe if they would have provided it in a tube, I might use it more often, but you have to apply it with either a brush or your finger, and I'm not going to bring this in my purse with me, so I haven't really been using it. I did put it on this morning just to like remind myself what it was like, and it's, a, it's almost like a stain, sort of, because it's very sheer, and it's not very glossy or anything, and it just kind of like puts some color on your lips, but that's about it. I don't know. If this was in a tube, I might have a better review for you, but just as it is, I can't say that I use it or would ever want to purchase it. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching this unboxing video of Top Box June Box. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!